Hey everyone, this is Moose. Um, I'm going to be doing a Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne commentary. I'm a little rusty on Warcraft because I've been playing so much Starcraft, but i uh, really excited to get back in this and see how these pros are doing. Um, not really sure about either one of these players because, like I said, I have been out of it for a while. So, this is uh, TZ Took uh, as the. Um, the blue undead, and over here in the right we have the uh, the red human who will be Sasha. So, should be an interesting game. Um, you can see that the uh, human player is now doing the typical wall for the human, or actually for anybody. So it is a little bit different in StarCraft. Usually only Terran can wall, but uh, here we have um, the humans who are doing their wall. Got the altar of kings uh, as his first and then he got the farm then the barracks so good uh, I like that build as the humans and as the undead we're seeing, we're seeing a uh, altar then then ziggurat actually crypt then altar then ziggurat so and now putting on tomb of relics so uh, I've noticed that, like whenever I play Warcraft I seem to focus a whole lot more on getting better units than the other player and I've seen a lot of pros as they play they focus on getting the best hero, and as you can see, um, Sasha is now getting a scout on the undead, seeing like what's going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my other name Sasha and Took. I gotta remember that. Okay, so Took is uh, oh, yeah, this is on Turtle Rock, so they don't know where each other are because it is a four player map. You got right there, right here, right here, and right here. So, uh, they're both going for scouts for each other, and it looks like Took is gonna find Sasha right now, and uh. Need to check out what they're doing. We're getting a footman out and a mountain king. I like to see the mountain king getting a uh, proxy tower out. Going to put it right outside of Took's base so he will know if he moves out. So, ready to see his heroes come out and start doing some leveling. I'd love to see it. And sorry, guys, if I refer to StarCraft 2, I know I'm doing Warcraft commentary, so I'm going to focus on just talking about that. So, okay, enough of StarCraft. Here we go. Warcraft time. Death Knight coming out. Four took, and we are seeing a. Yep, we are seeing Sasha over here scouting. I mean, not. I mean, creeping the turtles over here outside of the base. Mountain King gonna get some experience going on, and not, not leveling, but getting some experience. So I'm really curious which player's gonna be going. We are getting a Grave Guard for uh, Took right now. And let's see if the, uh, yep, okay, Death Knight got the Rod of Necromancy, so that is very annoying for the other player. I hate when other when, uh, other heroes get that um, that item because they just ban. There's some skeletons early on in the game, so it stinks. But we are seeing, oh, yes, I love seeing this Militia uh, creep right here using, uh, getting, using, <laughs> uh, doing his creeping with the Militia. They're so effective, especially if you don't get them hurt. Like you can see they're uh, taking the damage on the footmen, so these peasants are staying like full health, and then he's gonna get his experience on the higher level mobs early on and then send his militia back to go back to workers. So I like doing that. I, I like to see people do it. I'm not very efficient with it because I'll lose all my peasants if I do that. I'm not very amazing. So we are seeing it looks like Took is going to go for these high level mobs as well. And it's like he's going to get flanked by Sasha right here. I want to see this. And oh, yes, yeah, just coming in here, stealing his experience and surrounding the Death Knight. But he will be able to TP out or just, yeah, walk out. That's cool too. So he is going to get away from this. And it looks like Sasha is going to take the hits from the mobs. So it looks like uh, Sasha is actually in a bad spot right here. Going to lose a lot of his units probably. Uh, no, he's actually taking Took down. So. These footmen are just tanks, two armor, so it comes in handy a lot, especially against the undead early on because they all have weaker units, except when they get the crit fiends out, as he's getting right now. Crit fiends are beasts, and it looks like Took is going to move right back in after Sasha. And is he going to, yes, he gets all his experience from the mobs, just taking them from Took, so that is very annoying by the, uh, for the undead player. And Sasha, it looks like he's just beast mode right now with these three units. So I'm liking this gameplay by Sasha using the, uh, oh man, what is it, the Thunderbolt. I love that ability by the Mountain King to just freeze your opponent immediately, and there's nothing they can do. So now going up for a Black Citadel. Wow, I've been, I've been missing the production a whole lot. Okay, we are seeing a Keep go up. <laughs> we are seeing an Arcane Vault go up as well. 
and a black citadel as I said I missed it so my bad on that guys uh, Nubian tower I like to see that in case they do do a run straight for the uh, for the mineral uh, for the gold mine uh, slows down the unit so his units can get back into it and it looks like Sasha is still running off these t his two units that are left from the beginning of the fight and he's probably gonna try to pick off this crit thing but he isn't he's just gonna run away so good gameplay by both players so far it looks like this footman is gonna go run to this arcane vault to go get some health uh, just kind of massing up over here, gonna uh, rally his units together. He probably make another push, probably gonna keep the pressure on. And we are seeing probably a uh, ziggurat. Okay, I, th I was hoping it's gonna be a sacrific sacrificial pit, but it's not. So there's a slaughterhouse right now. Actually, a sacrificial pit would be perfect right now because we're not seeing any anti-air as of right now. And he is getting an, uh took is getting a black citadel. So if he got frost worms early on, early on, it'd be very devastating for Sasha because Sasha has no blacksmith as well and he is just getting his keep still as well and using more militia to go uh, go creeping to go get some levels so we are seeing a level almost level 3 mountain king and oh where's the other okay there it is uh, and the death knight is still level 1 so that's a significant difference especially early on and now getting the defendability against these uh, crypt lords uh, crypt fiends my bad um, terrible the names right now so uh, gonna help out against the crit fiends big time and I like his uh, I'm liking Sasha's Mac micro right now it's doing very good and um, now getting level 2 death knight 4 took and see this is how awesome these militia are look at this just helping out so much so now he's gonna put his peasants back online I'm sure and it looks like took is over here uh, getting his own high level creeping but I'm not sure how well this is gonna go down uh, actually it is gonna work just got a micro with his death knight so he doesn't lose too much HP and yeah skeletons gonna be a tanks now so this will work out perfectly and let's check out what Sasha's got going on he's got a guard tower up so pretty much the exact same thing over here Nubian tower and guard tower except guard tower doesn't slow uh, what is going down just a farm okay uh, not going to a castle quite yet but we are seeing two farms getting placed down so gonna get his uh, his food up right now Black Citadel now up and working and getting Obsidian Statues. So uh, looks like we're just playing ground game right now, guys. So I wonder if this Obsidian Statue is going to get picked out, picked off coming out. And oh, cutting him off at the pass and going to get a surround. Pretty good surround out there. I like that. So Obsidian Statue is going to go, going to go down, and all of the reinforcements are down here uh, in the middle of a battle. So this Obsidian Statue is blowing up. So there they go explosion into a I'm not sure what that's even called it's a green force field looking stuff so running straight to the goal line and you can see how these Nubian towers are really slowing down these footmen to get to the uh, the workers the acolytes and yeah he's taking a lot of damage he knew and when he saw that uh, that took was actually warping in he warped his units out so good micro right there good uh, game sense so I like that play and Healing up next to the arcane vault for a few seconds. I mean using the healing sloth my bad uh, scroll of regeneration God I'm terrible, okay So putting up another putting up uh, wow. He's got uh, Four scout towers up now like three scout towers and a, and a uh, guard tower right now It looks like he is uh, Sasha is gonna push in a little bit further. I feel like I'm not sure about y'all But I feel like Sasha's got the upper hand in this game even though I uh, Took does have his uh, Black Citadel up. It doesn't look like he's... Uh, he really needs an expansion right now, probably. it uh help out a whole lot more, I believe. But I don't know. Sasha is keeping up the play right now. Uh, actually, I, th I just think... Sa I think uh, Took just needs uh, Frost Worms right now. Of course, what do I know? Sacrificial Pit now going down. So a little late in the Frost Worms, I believe. And he doesn't have a huge army either. All he has is the Lich King and the uh, Death Knight. I mean, he does have two heroes to uh, Sasha's one, but like I said, I'm just not really sure how this is uh, how this is in uh, Took's favor at all. I mean, I I don't know. Sasha only does have his uh, his uh, one hero and not many units. He is getting a Paladin out right now and continuing to get out peasants. Uh, no unit, so but uh, Sasha did get an expansion down, so he is going to be rolling in minerals. Look at this, twelve hundred and no wood really coming in seven ninety two, 
and wow, it took us 1,300. So when these frost worms come in, if they ever get put up, it's going to be ridiculous. So it looks like Took is going to make a push and boom, take it down. That that was so much range. That was awesome. I didn't know they had that much range on that. So that is annoying for Sasha. And Sasha is just, he's not taking it. He said, don't you dare kill my brethren. I'm going in. I'm just joking. He's going over to the expansion, probably to go hold that off in case uh, Took were to move in on it. But leaving his main completely undefended, but he does have four yard tower, so I think he'll live and long enough to come help. Still running off. Uh, I think he only has four, uh, three units and two heroes. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much the exact same thing over here, except uh, five units and two heroes. So actually, I really think this game is switching to Took's uh, favor right now. Really liking the gameplay by Took. Uh, the only thing I hate right now is there's no frost worms. Look at this. He wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, Sasha would be dead right now if frost worms are already out. There'd be absolutely nothing he could do except for the guard towers. But, I mean, you can get the frost breath and freeze these towers where they can't do anything. So now getting the castle. Still no blacksmith, so there's not going to be anti-air. No griffin avery, so there's not going to be any uh, uh, dragon hawks. And if he had frost worms, he could roll back here, bam, and hit straight into this expansion line. Although I believe that uh, I believe that Took has no idea that this is there, so I'm gonna actually check it out. And yes, he does know it's there. So my bad on that part by saying that 